really got going today? I thought we did second half. I thought we uh, we left it a little bit too late to start passing the ball properly to um, initiate uh, how we want to defend. Um, and we probably left it too too late tonight, whereas we've started brilliantly in recent weeks. I don't think we started particularly well. And when you go one thing down away from home, it's, it's catch up from then on. And we know that because we've, we've done it to so many sides of late. It was a penalty. What, can you tell us what the penalty was for? Uh, I, I, I couldn't really see. I, I think it's handball. The, 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 the lads are saying handball, but until I see it again from the, uh, from the analysis, uh, analyst, I won't, uh, can't comment. Didn't see too much argument from the players. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I sort of turned around the minute they give away the penalty in uh, normal disgust. We were just praying for that half-time whistle because we just felt that you know you needed to get the players in at half-time and, and get them out and playing again in a second. I thought just towards the end there we had a couple of little chances. I mean, let's, let's not forget, I know Blackpool have had some chances first half, but we've missed an open goal from three yards um, mm. right at the end there. And we've had a, a flurry of set pieces right at the end of that first half. Um, and, and come out second half, thought we were a better side second half. But I think, it, I think it's such a compliment to to the players the way that I mean if you think about it they played 4-3-3 or 4-5-1 whichever way you say it and Charlie Lee still had time on the ball well that means you have to drop your fifth midfield player in a line to congest the front of that back four so I think when Stephen has come to Blackpool and that is a strategy used and it was used well so I'm not um, I'm not uh, in any way bitter in that way I think that's testament to the players growth and, uh, and, and performance level so I think we have to probably handle that better of course but that would have been the first time Stevens came to Blackpool and uh, had to break down a 4-5-1 at their place. Didn't really work the goalkeeper enough? No, absolutely not. Like I said, we, we, we found it uh, tough to break down the, the four, the five, uh, the back four and the, and the five. And Joby had a terrific chance just before he came off, another open goal. Um, and we had a few oohs and ahs. Uh, second half, there was a few more oohs and ahs. At least we gave, gave our and Mouse uh, our magnificent travelling support, something to, uh, to to have a go at. But I thought the players um, defied um, tiredness and fatigue that was obviously evident from Saturday, um, which was a big game and probably took a little bit out of us. But I think they defied that second half and showed a, a character and a desire to, to really have a go at Blackpool. So I'm pleased with the way they responded to the goal going in. Again, it's another uh, penalty, so I, I, I don't know how how long it's been since we've conceded a goal for open play, but I'm pleased in, uh, with that statistic, and I don't think there's too much to be too downbeat about. Uh, people will will obviously uh, point towards uh, an unbeaten run coming to an end, but I think we're going to go and win every game to the end of the season. I mean. We're talking human nature tells you you're going to have off nights and it's whether you can cater for those off nights. I was just going to say, an unbeaten run comes to an end, but now you've just got to go and put in another unbeaten run. Well, I, I think the, the mere nature of the run uh, drives expectation levels really high and we like that because we want to be a successful side. But like I said many moons ago, we, we're trying to re-establish ourselves competitively in League 2. And we've done that brilliantly. We've, we've exceeded that and some and we'll keep trying I just said to the players in there tonight is a swift reminder that Stevens sides cannot start from 46 minutes onwards they have to start from the from the uh, from the very first whistle um, and it's you know life football has got a funny way of reminding you of that of that mere fact um, and it will serve it to be a reminder because they're, they're unbelievably disappointed in there the players and it's my job now to make sure that we uh, we reinvigor them for for Saturday and bring back those levels of um, that uh, free flow, instinct, rhythm um, to play against a, what is a very good Portsmouth team. You've seen Ben Kennedy limping out the tunnel just a minute ago, how's he? I don't know yet, I'll, I'll, have, to, uh, I'll have to speak to the staff before I know any more on that. Any other knocks and bumps and bruises? No idea yet, no idea. I won't know until um, I put you ahead of the players today, Steve. <laughs> Thanks for that. Thank you. Dan, just a quick one then. How much do you think there was a sort of derby come down from the fervour of Saturday and then coming to a place like this where there's basically no fans and it's quite a strange atmosphere? Almost, uh, and I don't mean this disrespectfully because it's a, it's a lovely uh, arena to play football in, but it almost felt like an EFL game, an EFL trophy game to start with. But look, we've got our own designs and, and the mere fact that the disappointment that I've seen um, in the changing room uh, after the game means there's a real desire for the players to keep winning games and 
while there is such a disaster when we lose football matches and they show what they've just shown there emotionally, I'll always be very supportive that they're going to uh, respond because they, let's be honest, this team always responds. Cool, thank you.